I have another interesting question, dilemma. I, w- I want to pose something. And I think I know where Fester's going to come down on this. Well, why, why so judgy? Do you know there are people that apparently go to Outback, just grab the free bread, drink some water, and then leave without paying? And same thing at Texas Roadhouse. Because, you know, those, uh, have you ever, you've been to Texas Roadhouse? Have yeah. I ever been? Of course, well, the, the yeast course. rolls the, that they have? Oh, or? those things are like crack. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Yeah. See, I was first introduced to Texas Roadhouse because I have I ride along, you know, with the Hillsborough County uh, Sheriff's Office. You know, I've been in their honorary deputy program since Cal Henderson days yeah. back in 97. Is that like the junior deputies where they give you a plastic badge no. and a paper hat or <laughs> no, something? No, no, no. No? No, you, you know, you get involved in community stuff. And listen, I'm very supportive of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and, you know, uh, Cal Henderson back in the day, David G. for many years, and of course now the great Chad Cronister, the sheriff of Hillsborough County. And I'm just, I'm honored to be in the honorary deputy program. And when I ride along, there are times where a lot of the deputies like to, for lunch, like to go to Texas Roadhouse. And that's where I was introduced to those rolls. They walk you to your table with the basket of rolls. I mean, it's it's like, get these out Mm. of my face because I'm going to devour the whole thing. I mean, those things are like crack. Yeah. Those, you got to go to rehab. I mean, you know, uh, I've, I've, roll I've, rehab. I've known people who've enjoyed the rolls, and I've known people on crack. So I could put together a couple of differences. Right. The, the point is, there are people that will go into these restaurants where they offer free bread. Like Outback brings you the breadboard with the, the big giant roll and the butter and the, the knife. And then you got the free ones at, uh, at Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. But here's the question. This is being posed. If you go in, grab the free bread, and leave, are you stealing? That is the question. People are doing this. I don't know if it's as rampant as you say it. I, I, saw, I saw a social media video. I'm doing my doom scrolling on IG. So you go to a restaurant, they give you bread, right? Mm-hmm. And then you decide that you don't want to eat at the restaurant anymore. They bring you water, and you eat the whole uh, you know basket of bread, and you just leave. Is that stealing if they were giving you the bread for free? Think about this. This this is the this is the dilemma of the day. Yeah, screw Delilah's dilemma. This is this is the diarrhea dilemma of the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> a, lot, a, okay. lot of, a lot of butter with that bread. Um, so, is it stealing? Yeah, that, that's the question. If a restaurant is giving you like a free accoutrement or like a Mexican restaurant where they put the chips down for you. Or does Olive Garden just give you the breadsticks when you show up? Do they just put it at your table? Or or is that part of what you're buying though? Because don't they call it like endless salad and I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. No, no. Well, that's paired to get is it paired? You buy that. I don't think I I don't think saying. Yeah. They don't just give you a couple of breadsticks when you sit down. I think it's paired. I don't know. Anyway, MJ, is it stealing though? They're giving it to you. Well, They're giving it to you on the assumption you're about to order a meal and a drink or and, something and like that's, that. And that's that's the point. Is that the assumption that you're getting the free bread with the assumption that you're going to actually order things off the menu? But there are people that are going in, getting the free bread, and just walking out, and they're, hey, it was free. Oh man. Yeah, I, I mean, is it is it technically stealing since? They've handed it to them. That's is the question. There, is they, there, they gave it to us. We like, didn't ask for it. It's not like you signed a contract when you walked into the restaurant that you will give me this bread and I will then order from you. So technically it's not, but it's very grifty. Uh, Jesse Hernandez from the Hernandez Law Offices, this is in Texas, he says that there's an implied understanding that the bread comes free with the purchase of a meal at the restaurant. Mm. Man, you put me with in front the, of a jury with, in my with peers. With the purchase. Well, that's the question. You know, we ought to go to the free bread phones here. First of all, is there anyone listening that has actually just gone into Texas Roadhouse or Outback or other establishments, a Mexican place where they, they bring out the chips right on the table? Has anyone ever done that? Or what are your thoughts? Is the bread free? Or... Is there an understanding? I mean, some menus I have come to learn, some menus say uh, free bread or free chips with the purchase of menu items. So some have a disclaimer on the menu. I don't think I've ever seen that at Outback. I don't think I I saw that at Texas Roadhouse. But think about this. 
Is it stealing? I, I'll grab a couple of calls here. 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. So a couple of questions. Do you think it's stealing if you go in, grab the free bread, and you say, yep, I'm full. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, right. man. And then have you ever done this? So do you think it's stealing? Any thoughts on this? Or have you ever done this or known somebody that's done this? 800-990-1047. But this is the dilemma of the day. The free bread, if you just go in for that and you leave, is that stealing? 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. And then in the same uh, little story that I read and then I, I watched the video, because once I saw the video, uh, there was a, like a story mentioned on this, so I, I found the story online. And then... There are some people that pull up to the Outback order to go space in front of an Outback and ask for bread and then just leave. And some people say they'll give it to you. That you just go to Outback and you say, hey, can I get a bread, please? And some people are claiming that the Outback will bring you the bread out to the car and then they just drive off. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right, look at the phones. The phones are exploding here. Uh, 800-990-1047, 800-990-1047. Chris and Brandon, hi, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi, Chris. Good morning. How are you guys this morning? Uh, doing well. Go ahead. I'm just curious how this happens. If you look at it, Fester does the same thing when he goes to a hotel. No, no. actually stay there, but eats breakfast. Chris. How's that any different? Hold on, Chris. Yeah. It's, it's completely different because... Uh. That is legitimately stealing what I'm doing to the hotels because I'm not a guest there. <laughs> yeah, Fester is a com Fester is a complete, uh, you know, breakfast yeah. felon. I, I I'm in, I'm having the same moral dilemma that you are, Chris, because yeah. I am clearly it's, stealing it, breakfast. It's from a it's a muffin misdemeanor. Yeah, I mean, you see me stroll into a Hampton Inn or the Hyatt Place or the Holiday Inn Express at the crack of like eight yeah. fifteen on a Saturday, yeah. you know. It's petty theft at at, yeah. at, at, at least, right? It's, it's, yes. it's bagel burglary. I mean, they're not just giving breakfast away like a soup kitchen, but these places yeah. give the bread yeah. away. For, for those that don't know, Fester's gig is he'll, he'll drive up to some of these hotels, motels that have the free continental breakfast. He'll stroll in like he's a guest and just eat and then leave. Yeah. And he even has like a whole bunch of like room key cards that he holds to make it look like he's a guest. I have a wheelie bag in the a, back of my car to carry in Yeah, fake wheelie bag. Yeah. I mean, look, listen, listen to the guy I work with. What, yeah. what, what's, what's going on here? You know, I was curious if you ever brought in like a suitcase and just acted like you were there on a convention yeah. and okay. whatnot. No, no. Like, okay. how do you get away with that? Chris, a whole uh, suitcase. I thought it would be a lot of the same thing. For bread at a restaurant, it's only when you purchase the meal. They don't give it away for free. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Free. Yep. Chris, what, what are you doing? What are you doing Saturday morning at seven forty-five? Yeah, why don't you meet him in Hampton Inn? Yeah. Yeah. You, you know that Embassy Suites right there. Uh, Chris, All right. thanks for the call, Chris. Have a great day, Lynn in Bradenton. Lynn, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi, MJ. Huge fan, lifelong listener. Love you guys. Hey, thank you, um, Lynn. Thank you for being you. I love y'all. I just want to say I do think it's stealing. It's not necessarily stealing food, but it's stealing time from that server where that server could have earned a tip, hmm. and you walked out without paying. I think it's a very good so, point. Yep. Uh, I, 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 my I, daughter is a server. She's had that done to her on a table where she could have should have earned around $20 in a tip. Yep. And the table behind her walked out after just eating bread and yeah. having water. Oh, they're, oh, so you have an actual, uh, you said your daughter? Yes. Yeah, that sucks. Or also, the Dine and Dashers. And we always, I don't know if this is true, but you always hear that the server sometimes has to have to pay out of their pocket yeah. if a table if a table gets up and dashes without paying. So your daughter, if someone does that to her, she's got to pay for their check? Yes, sir. She certainly does, and she works at a Michelin-starred restaurant. Really? Oh, wow. So that yeah. costs a lot if something goes awry. Where? W what location? Um. I mean, what 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 city does she work in? Uh, in Lakewood Ranch. 
Well, I don't. I don't know if it, I don't think it's a Michelin starred restaurant. It's it's probably a Michelin. It's a chain. It, yeah, but it's, it's a, a chain. but it's a it's a, okay, maybe, what is it? maybe maybe it's a Michelin recommended, but it's it's not a, it doesn't have one two or three stars in Lakewood Ranch. I'm maybe telling you right now. Maybe the people who park their cars in the lot have Michelins. What what's the name of it? It's <laughs> at Fleming. Oh, oh, Fleming's. Fleming, okay. Fleming yeah. Steakhouse. Yeah, I don't think Fleming's has a, a Michelin star, but uh, it's a preferred I, I, think, I think it's on the Michelin list of recommended restaurants. And listen, Fleming's does a very nice job. Hey, speaking of Outback, you know, Fleming's is part of the uh, the Bloomin' Brands. Uh, hey, thanks for the call. But you know what? May, I mean, with, with Outback headquarters, with Bloomin' Brands headquarters, right on uh, Boy Scout and Spruce, you know, right at West Shore, right in front of the International Plaza entrance, Maybe we can get somebody from Outback uh, Management to call up. Maybe some, uh, you know, high up muckety muck at Outback could call up and give us the ruling. Do you consider it stealing if someone just sits down, eats the bread, and leaves? Any any Outback uh... or anybody from Australia <laughs> or Crocodile Dundee? Eight hundred nine nine zero one zero four seven. Eight hundred nine nine zero one zero four seven. Mel is in Port Ritchie, an Olive Garden employee. Hey, Mel, welcome to the MJ Morning Show. Good morning, MJ, and everybody. I've been listener since uh, nineteen ninety two. When you were on ninety three three, uh, actually, I got to I got to ninety three in uh, ninety four. Okay, ninety four. Yep. I've been in Florida since ninety two. Yeah, yep. get your story um, straight. No, 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 no problem. I I started over there on February seventh of nineteen ninety four. But go, go ahead, Mel. Okay, um, at Olive Garden, it would be considered stealing because our breadsticks are not free. You have to order certain meals to get the bread. Also, we sell the breadsticks as a meal with the soup and salad. See, right. that's what I was saying. It was oh. packaged. Yeah, you get, get, the, get the trifecta, yeah. All right. Uh, Mel, have you had anyone try to just do breadsticks and walk the hell out without paying? Uh, we have not had them do the breadsticks, but we did just the other day have a dine and dasher. Oh, man. Oh, no. Was it one person, a couple, or was it a whole family? It was a single lady, and she told her server that she was going to go out and burn one, 420 style, out in her car, and <laughs> never show it back up. She wait burned minute, rubber. Wait, 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 wait. She, wait a minute. She told the server that she was going to go yep. out and burn one 420 style, so she, she was going to smoke a joint in the parking lot and then come back? Yes. <laughs> and then and she, a half hour went by and yeah. did not come back. Oh my god! She even left her eyeglasses and her sweater as if she was going to come back. Oh wait, wait a sec! You know what? She probably was smoking her doob, and you know that it screws with your memory. She probably got so ripped and stoned she forgot. Could be. I don't know. I don't do the stuff. Now, what did she order? Was she like extravagant? Did she order the most expensive stuff on the Olive Garden menu? No, she got an average meal, but she was drinking some wine as well. Oh, gotcha. So, I didn't know you yeah. can just get up from your table and tell your server, I'm going to go smoke weed. <laughs> <in my car. laughs> yeah. I didn't know that my, either. Hold my bill till I get back. Yeah. I'm exactly. good for it. You know I'm going to get high as a kite, yeah. though. This uh, four cheese rigatoni or whatever the hell it is, this uh, this uh, this uh, Olive Garden lasagna is making real. I've got, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm doing the reverse thing because usually, <laughs> you, usually you smoke the joint, then you get the munchies. She's getting the, she's eating, then she's gonna smoke the joint. Mel, great story, thank you. Have a great day, guys. Uh, you too. Stro is in Wesley Chapel. Stro, MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. Uh, yeah, I was just calling uh, my daughter, uh, who's now 21, but when she was uh, 18 and 19, she used to regularly go into the local Texas Roadhouse, and they would have the you know the free rolls, and they would just order water, but they would always tip the waitress. Well, that's said, nice. hey, did you guys tip them really good? Yeah, we leave them like 10 bucks. So wait a minute. They, they got the free rolls, glasses of water. They didn't pay for any of the food, and they just left the tip and left? Okay. Correct. No, they just had rolls and water. Sure, so, so the story makes no sense. I mean, they tip ten bucks on free bread and water. You can buy half a but meal that for was that. Their, that was their way of being polite, not being like you know to yeah. the servers. Interesting. Thank you, Stro. All right, last call on this. We got to move on. Gary in Spring Hill. Gary, MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, they should change the meaning of the word free because nothing in life is free. Continue. 
in anything, anything that you buy, they say, yeah, this comes free with this. This comes free with this. Right. Nothing is free. Well, there's the expectation that, you know, you're getting the bread exactly. with the purchase of something. Mm, yes. So, hey, Gary, yeah, have a great day. So I know, I, 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 but I agree with that. I agree with, you know, no. nothing in life is free. No, I guess. there's a price well, for everything. Well, actually, there there are some free things out there. But, yes. you know, no Maybe purchase. Maybe it's your time, ne- right. Yeah, no purchase necessary. There are, there are a couple of free things. But, yeah. Gary, for, uh, by and large, I think your, your statement's accurate. Thank you, pal. Yeah, this has been Deep Thoughts with Gary from <laughs> Spring Hill. <laughs> nothing in life is free. <laughs>